Dr. Clement. What are your thoughts on the recycling of wastewater? Recycling water is going to be more and more evident on this planet as time goes on. Uh, as all of the great thinkers and scientists today are writing, if we fought over oil, which you see uh, Boy George and his group doing right now, actually wait till we now run out of water. And with the change in the environment and the greenhouse effect, you're starting to see parts of the world that are in major droughts. Right now as we sit here, northern Florida and southern Georgia is in the most severe drought that geologists say in history. They look through the ground. So you're going to see more and more of this. Uh, thank God the green movement is really real. And I have to commend uh, Al Gore because overnight he changed the channel. I couldn't, I've never seen a movement happen that quick. We all knew about it, we were all living this way, but he puts this movie out and the next day it becomes hip to be green. Before that nobody talked about it, Everybody, it was a hippie, we weirdos, it's strange, the sprout eating, granola, Birkenstock, assholes, they do that. The next day, hey, everyone's driving around in their Cadillacs, I want to have a green Cadillac. So God bless Al Gore. But what you're talking about is probably the, the pinnacle of why we have to do something and recycle water. I've already looked at, for the projects we're doing here, a machine that takes all of the water you use to wash clothing with and recycles that. Now, granted, these things are expensive today, but in the long run, they'll save you money, but in the short run, you're doing what you need to do for the environment, because water is a major issue. So I'm a major fan of recycling water, and it's a lot easier than a lot of you think. Uh, many years ago, in the 1960s and 70s, I used to go up visit a group called the New Alchemy Institute. They were on Cape Cod, and the New Alchemy was showing people, and we did it at Hippocrates. We used to have a little farm there, and uh, it was where Hippocrates began in the 1950s. And just putting sand, just putting rocks and putting sand, we would recycle the water. And it was it cost nothing, it cost us nothing, actually. But when you get to heavy chemicals, yesterday you weren't here, but I spoke about MTBE, the most deadly chemical we've unleashed into the environment in gasoline. That ethyl, it's, you have to distill, or you have to do some very contorted structure or vortexes to get that out. Uh, so that one you're not going to get out from sand and filtration, normal filtration. So you have to go to very sophisticated filtration systems for that.